Hi everyone, I'm Brittany. I'm a teacher here at MPoly, and today I'm going to teach you how to sign up for a Google account. Now, Google is a completely free service that allows you to make documents on Google Docs. You can make essentially a PowerPoint using Google Slides, or you can make an Excel sheet using Google Sheets. So this is completely free. It has, I believe, about 15 gigabytes of free storage for you to use. So to get started, you're going to go to the google.com homepage in your URL here, and we're going to get over to sign in. Now, if you already have a Google account, you would just sign in here. But today we're going to create an account if you do not already have one. So I could create an account. If you have permission from your parents, you would click the top option for my personal use. If you are a parent signing up for your child, then you would click for my child. So we're going to click for my personal use. You're going to put in your name. You can put in your English name or your Korean name. Then you're going to put in your birthday and gender. So you can put female, male, rather not say, or custom. Email, and then you'd put in your birthday. Once you've put in your information, then you can choose your Gmail address. Now, this is an account that you want to be able to use for years after you make it. So you don't want to make it something silly. You can choose from the options they give you, but some of these are kind of strange. So I would suggest create your own Gmail address. So for me, mine is going to be Brittany dot mpoly at gmail.com for you i would suggest using maybe your english name or your korean name written out in english and maybe putting some numbers for it you could also do something like your first name and then your last name after it so whatever your last name is kim lee park anything like that and that is like a professional looking gmail account Again, I'm going to do brittany.mpoly at gmail.com. Once we go to next, we're going to create a password. Now you want to remember your password, so definitely save your password in the notes app on your phone or write it down somewhere. Make sure to tell your parents your password so that you don't forget it because it's very, very important that you don't forget your password. A strong password would have a combination of large letters, numbers, and symbols. So maybe something like dog name 578 at something like that. So you want to have a strong password. Once you've created a password, then you're going to go on to next. Add a recovery email. So this is an email that Google can reach you at if you've gotten locked out of your account or if you've forgotten your password. So I would suggest you put maybe one of your parents' email addresses in there or something like that. But for now, I'm going to skip this. This is my account information. Review it, make sure it looks correct, and then press next. Privacy terms, you can scroll down to the bottom. I agree to Google Terms of Service and I agree to Location Terms of Service. And then I'm going to click Create Account. All right, now your account has been created. As we can see in the corner, there's a B for Brittany, my Google account. Now I'm going to show you guys how to use the Google Apps. So you can see here we have Gmail, which is here. So you can click there to get to your email account if you would like to do that first. Otherwise, let's go back. We're going to go to the Google Apps. You can also access Gmail from here, but you can access anything else as well. So if you want to have a YouTube account, Google owns YouTube, so you are able to comment on people's videos, like videos, and subscribe using that. Otherwise, there are many other things, maps, news, chat, meet, but what we're going to talk about is Google Drive. So you want to go to Google Drive and click on that. Google Drive 
is basically a service that saves all of your files. So from Google Drive, you can create new files here. You can choose to create a folder, upload a file, upload a folder, make Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, Google Forms, or more. So we're going to create a new folder. We're going to give this folder a class name. We're going to create this folder. Now in this folder, I will double click to open and we can put new files in here. So you can choose to create a new Google Docs file. And it looks like this. You would title the document, maybe essay one. Let's put your name first. So I'm gonna put my name, Brittany, essay one. And then it automatically saves, as you can see here. It has been saved to the drive. Let's make sure it's in the correct folder. The current location is this folder, but if we wanted to change that location, we can do that. Then you would follow the MLA formatting guide that's posted on the Ilsan M. Pauli YouTube page to then write your essay. I'm going to exit out of this, and here we can see it says Brittany, essay one, the owner is me, and the file size. You could also create a Google slide. Now this is just like PowerPoint. So if your teacher gives you an assignment and your assignment is to make a PowerPoint presentation, they don't just mean using Microsoft PowerPoint. You can also use Google Slides instead. So if you do not have Microsoft PowerPoint, you do not need to buy it. That can be over $100 and you do not need to do that. So what you should do is you should use Google Slides because it is free and you've already made a Google account. So I'm going to exit out of this as well. And you can have many files here. If you want to be able to access your files on your computer, you can go to the settings button here and you can click get drive for desktop. And that will allow you to look at your files when you are not online. Because the one thing that you do need to know about Google Drive and Google Accounts is that it needs to be used online. So if you want to use it on your desktop, you can see there's a button down here for me to download it on my desktop there, or go to settings and go here. Then you are able to access your documents offline. However, I would highly suggest you use a computer and Wi-Fi and always access your documents online because then they automatically save and you can access them from anywhere. Now, since I am your teacher, some of your teachers might do this, some of your teachers might not, but in the folder, if your teacher has a folder for your class, your teacher will be able to add you to this folder by putting the link on your homework page. So anyone with the link will be able to join. What you should do is you should join this, this folder that your teacher has put on your homework and then your essays, you should put them in this folder. That allows your teacher to look at your essays and get your essays from you when they are due. So if your teacher chooses to do that, they will let you know. Now, one more really great thing about Google Drive is that you can get it on any mobile device. So you can get it on a tablet. You can also get it on your phone. I would highly suggest that you do this because this will allow you to share your documents with your teacher in class if you forgot to do it at home. So if you have a cell phone, a smartphone, please get the Google Drive app and also the Google Docs app and probably the Google Slides app. These are all free. Then if you ever forget, you're able to share things with your teachers right then and there in class. All right, guys, that is how you make a Google account and get started with Google Drive. If you have additional questions, you can ask your teachers. 
Otherwise, I would suggest that you look up some additional videos on YouTube. There are many great videos that can teach you how to use Google Docs or Google Slides better, or even how to organize your files in Google Drive better. So I would highly suggest that you do that, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask.